2021 Ford Ranger 4x4 Super Crew. This is the Lariat Edition with the Tremor package, which means it's meant for off-roading. It's raised up, it's got the bigger tires, it's got the four-wheel drive, capability to go off-roading. I used it a little bit the other day in the snow up in the Sierra Mountains, basically just parking in a very snowy spot that other cars wouldn't manage because of the slippery, icy snow that they would not have been able to get out of on a hill. No problem with the Ford Ranger 4x4, slipped in into four wheel low and was able to get in and out without a problem. So this is the Ford Ranger Super Crew, which means you've got a nice back seat, although I have to say it's got limited leg room. This has a five foot bed in the back, totally lined for durability. There's not a full size bed, it's a shrunken bed, but that allows you to have passenger space in the rear seat. Liking the EcoBoost, it's a four cylinder, 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. And let me tell you, as far as I'm concerned, it could be a V8, it has, it has the power and the torque to really zip around. It's a very lightweight truck. And with that EcoBoost, you can really move when you want to. So that EcoBoost provides an EPA rated of about 19 miles per gallon, both city and highway, 19 miles per gallon. In fact, we're getting about just over 21 miles per gallon in the week driving up through the Sierra foothills. So I'd have to say we're doing all right with the mileage. So the leg room is, I mean, just barely enough for me. I keep wanting to put the seat back a little bit more. It won't go back any farther. If it did, it would allow for even less leg room in the back. So I just fit in this forward green. Interior-wise, I like the layout. It's got the standard Ford navigation screen and the digital display in the front. You've got all the buttons on the steering wheel. You also have adaptive cruise control, which I found to be very good, very capable, keeping me that safe distance that I set. You can make it shorter or longer. Uh, does have the auto stop start to help save fuel. I find it very discomforting and so I have been turning it off to disengage the auto stop. Yeah, I'm still getting 21 miles to the gallon. I've gotten some comments on the cool paint job of this Ford Ranger Tremor package. It's got racing stripes all the way to the back. It really is a catchy looking vehicle. It's very quiet and uh, comfortable for sure. You got the heated seats which are very powerful. As a matter of fact I've turned them on to full three bar heated and within a few minutes I need to turn it off or turn it down because it gets so warm. Two USB plugs down in the bottom that are actually illuminated at night, which is a wonderful thing because you're always searching around. You don't want to be searching around to find out where to plug in your device to get it charged. These are illuminated, so that makes it very easy. A couple
couple of 12 volt plugs as well for charging in more of a traditional cigarette lighter charger way. That's very nice as well. Compared to the base Ranger Super Crew 4x4, Tremor has a wider stance, improved ground clearance, front and rear suspension travel, and greater approach, departure, and breakout angles. Together, these improvements mean drivers can confidently tackle more challenging terrain without losing on-road comfort or on-the-job capability with a maximum payload of 1,430 pounds and best-in-class towing of 7,500 pounds. So it's just at a gas station and a guy comes up and he said, boy, that is a good looking Ranger. They're doing so much with the Ranger these days. He really liked the paint stripe of it. He liked the uh, off-road package, the large tires. He was very impressed. He didn't like the price so much. He said, well, it's a little above my price range. But still, I said 48000 for this MSRP total as tested. I think, uh, you know, that's not too bad. I think that's fairly reasonable. It's a heck of a truck. The 2021 Ford Ranger. It's a lot of truck in a little package. Compact, powerful, very capable. Check it out.